Hello friends, it is Olga and this is my Ukrainian vlog. I am currently in Ukraine and I want to ask you about uh, some um, something you also may help uh, and this help uh, without any money, without anything. Uh, this help uh, I'm asking you do not uh, share videos uh, if you, for example, uh, are currently in Europe um, or uh, somewhere you, you saw some military uh, machinery, military things are on the way to East and you understand it is on the way to Ukraine. So uh, you understand that it is help for Ukrainian army. I am asking you do not share, do not make such videos or do not share it, mm, actually do not spread this information, uh, which country helps Ukraine, how many weapon and what kind of weapon gives uh, and also uh, when you're making a video you show the route, you show the road, uh, what, uh, what road use uh, uh, use uh, this country and uh, actually European Union to transport uh, this uh, military help for Ukraine. Uh, so uh, it is, uh, uh, we also ask uh, here, uh, military people ask here our um, experts, uh, I don't know, journalists, uh, everyone do not tell uh, about uh, uh, what kind of help, what country uh, gives Ukraine and Ukrainian army and uh, also do not show, do not make video or, and do not spread it, you know, as, uh, especially, you know, uh, for everyone. Mm, so, because uh, a lot of spies, they are, they watching such a video and actually it, they help them to understand these roots and actually then they may hit uh, and destroy this route or uh, stop somehow uh, this uh, uh, transferring of uh, this uh, military help, military means and machinery. Mm, that is my first help. Also I want to tell you about such a things like um, Russians, they do not know actually Ukraine, I mean they, they do not know uh, names of towns, of course they know this name like Kiev, Kharkiv or something but they do not know some, uh, you know, towns around, they do not know roads, villages or some local worlds. And for them, without map, without um, navigators, it, it is very hard to, uh, you know, to understand where to go. And uh, we have such inc accidents when, uh, for example, column of uh, tanks or some Russian uh, units, uh, they uh, was without uh, maps, without, for example, navigators, and uh, they uh, uh, wa w was lost. They didn't know where to go them because they actually do not know a road. And so uh, our our mil mil minister of defense asked people. Uh, do not uh, tell the road uh, if you see person who are speaking Russian and uh, pretend because of a lot of Ukrainians also speak Russian but this person pretends that um, she or he needs help she needs to know some road some name of some town and you understand that uh, this person uh, completely do not uh, um, understands w w where even big uh, cities are, in which direction, and you understand it's not local person. Our minister of defense uh, say that you shouldn't tell the, such people where to go, mm, or you may tell dif wrong direction or say that you don't know, and uh, immediately call the police uh, and uh, tell about uh, this person to police. Uh, because uh, it could be, uh, for example, Russian soldiers or their spy to help them, to help Russian army, Russian units to, uh, you know, get to their position for attack. And uh, so it is the second thing we have inside Ukraine. And also I 
got such a new now that uh, because of that thing that Russians do not know Ukraine, do not know Ukrainian w war, uh, uh, sorry, roads, and actually they have problem with soldiers and uh, they uh, n not only soldiers they need, they on, uh, also need drivers of uh, long vehicles of uh, that uh, carries some fuel for tanks that, uh, for example, carries some um, killed soldiers, uh, you know, uh, to morgues uh, and others. So they need drivers. And uh, uh, now I got information that on the websites uh, where you or with job offers, uh, there uh, such a <laughs> such a advertisement like uh, for for drivers of vehicles uh, for long distances, they offer good salary and uh, this mark like uh, this uh, this job will be connected with line uh, Russia Ukraine or Belarus Ukraine or in Ukraine or in closer to, or, or in Belarus or something like closer to this line uh, uh, between uh, these two countries or even three countries and um, this kind of uh, offers uh, advertisement made by Russians and so they want to recruit Ukrainian drivers uh, actually because they know roads and um, actually they maybe even ca capture it and um, mm, even uh, they can, Russian can take their documents, their passports, mm, and uh, these uh, Ukrainian drivers will work for them, you know, for free, but they will be just like a prisoners in, in army, execute these mm, fascist or orders against their own people. So they need uh, people who know roads, who know, uh, you know, Ukraine actually without map, <laughs> a, lo a lot of places a lot of roads without map so uh, that's what I wanted to tell you this uh, questions of uh, safety and also Europeans as I told you uh, may help just by silence you, you shouldn't tell about help about machinery about uh, you know roads uh, how how you, Europe and actually Western world help Ukraine and uh, show these roads um, in especially make videos and share it you know to everyone um, well thank you for watching <laughs> I hope um, you um, understand me and you will support me and uh, you will uh, keep in mind my words um, also uh, I want to tell you about uh, what kind of help our army and our guys with local um, defense uh, in different cities that helps army and places uh, they actually need uh, what they need um, uh, they need tactical bags they need tactical sources of lights um, you, know, you know waterproof uh, for example they need helmets they need body armor to protect from bullets uh, the chest you know this um, also they uh, need um, also tactical things uh, for, for example, extremal tourism or something, uh, waterproof. Uh, mm, also, mm, they need, uh, I don't know how to call it, you know, uh, like a, a means of connection, uh, uh, Russia or something, I don't know how it will be in English, but uh, for connection, for communicating on some distances. Um, without wires, without anything. Um, so what uh, that also they need uh, uh, thermal imaginers to watch, you know, objects that uh, uh, that are uh, <laughs> that uh, like create uh, uh, warm, uh, you know, in in the night, and uh, they could be visible because they are warm so it is uh, we call it tepla visors it is uh, like thermal images um, that it is very important and uh, they need them in huge quantity uh, they help them to fight at night because without such a thing they're like blind kittens uh, also they need uh, a means for stopping the bleeding 
you know, for uh, make uh, here, for example, tight, uh, uh, some tight, um, uh, how to say, uh, knots, uh, and to stop, for example, the ble bleeding from the some limb or somewhere, and also some other supplies for uh, for uh, you know such extreme medicine for emergency cases uh, when someone um, received some uh, trauma, injury, bleeding, and um, because of, for example, shoot because of uh, some uh, other trauma um, um, during the fight so uh, that's what they need mm, also uh, uh, so <laughs> i think it is all i wanted to say um it is what what our our, uh, our guys need who protect uh, cities and towns um, and uh, local places against russians um, also, they they do not need uh, warm clothes. They do not need food because a lot of clothes already sent, and they do not need it. They have clothes enough. They need some special tactical uh, things, um, and uh, they they should they need it, uh, it the most. Well, uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> I hope you will share this information about what our guys need also and uh, will not tell about uh, what uh, it's not uh, necessary to know to Russian spies. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, see you in the next video. Bye.